What's up, everybody? That feels weird. Usually I say, what's up, garden friends? This is not a plant video. This lighting's not really ideal either, is it? Well, let's work with what we have. Today, I'm putting in a new filter on the aquaponics tub. This isn't anything super special or fancy. Pretty basic filter. It's the Tetra Waterfall Pond filter, in case you couldn't read that. And from what I'm gathering from this, there's an intake on the back. Down here, there's a little hole. See the hole? That gets plumbed with the pump that's in the water, comes in through the bottom, runs up through this reservoir through mechanical filtration, and then there's a bag in here that the biological filtration is going to go in. And I got this off of Amazon. I was going to buy it from my local pet shop, but it was 130 bucks from them. I try and support the local shops, but it was only $60 on Amazon, so they lost the battle there. This is hooked in here with some zip ties. Pull that off. If I can. Can I reach that? Yep. Short hand. Now another zip tie. Alright. I put that in so close. Hopefully it won't cut the mesh. There we go. Get that off of there. It looks a bit sticky. Got a nice drawstring on it. it has a plate on a little disc. Sits down right in there. A mechanical pad to go on top of it. And then I guess I just fill this with my biological media. And uh, that's that. Let's see if it's that simple. Got some directions and some inlets here. Oh, let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of overexpose this a little bit. Kind of dark. The settings came with a couple of these rubber gaskets. Nuts. We're gonna assume that this is just like your standard bolt head. And put that on here. And then that's going right here. And spread from the inside. Go ahead and put the other gasket on in there. And screw this on. I like doing everything right. So we're going to go ahead and move ahead. Oh, they use Teflon tape. I'm not doing that. Push it. But now the next step is to go ahead and put in this hard plate. Not the most snug and secure fit. Plugs around a lot. This mechanical plate. And uh, I'm going to fill this up with my biological media, which is already cycled from the aquaponics tub in the garage. Okay, so I have this filled up. This is the Seachem Pond Matrix. It's the same thing as the regular matrix, but the pieces are a little bit bigger. I actually use it in all my fish tanks, my fresh and my salt. And there's one of these Eco Bio Stones in here too. These things are amazing. I have three others, but the water's so murky, I can't find them. They fell to the bottom. So hopefully after this runs for a few days, maybe it'll clear things up enough that I can find those and get those put in here. Now they put a loop back here in case you're using like a plastic media or something really light that's going to move around a lot, which would actually maybe be better for this sort of situation because it'll tumble. And you won't have all the detritus and junk building up in it. It's just going to mess with your nitrates. There's live plants in here though, so I'm not really too concerned about nitrates and phosphates and whatnot. Come here, rainbow gravel got mixed in there. Okay, got a little dongle here. So that part's done. I need to fit my tubing on here. So I went ahead and I got this on there. It's just one inch corrugated tubing, black tubing. I don't have any hose clamps, so I'm just going to use a zip tie on here and tighten that up to help hold it in place. I'm not really too terribly concerned about it coming undone. I'm going to have to put this inside the pond so I don't have to worry about leakages and whatnot. And I don't think that this is even going to pull tight enough to actually make a difference, but hey. We'll see. And then here I am with my partially unfocused pump. I know it's dirty, so it's because it's, it's been used. I haven't stopped using it. Go ahead and put this on there. Well, that was surprisingly harder than I expected it to be. Whew. So you had to put it down on the ground and get on it. So that's done. So now, pretty much just throw it in there and plug it in. See how it works. All right, and there we have it. That was pretty simple. I thought the floor would be a little bit higher, but I really think I need to go and clean that pump out. So we'll give that a few days and see what happens. Hopefully the water will clear up enough within a few hours for me to be able to find the other biostones that are supposed to go in there. Another great option with this, if I didn't think I was gonna need to dump the mechanical pad and clean it a lot, is you could really stick plants up there and create a nice living filter, which was supposed to be the point of this, but you know, goldfish are messy. They need extra strong filters. And here we are 24 hours later. Look at how dirty it is in there.
Nice to be able to see the fish again, that's for sure. I'd say this works pretty well. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Hope everybody's doing well. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share if you already haven't. I like talking to y'all. And keep on growing. Bye-bye.